Cows, crowds and combines were out in force at the Balmoral Show on Thursday. The show has been running for over 140 years, but this year in particular there were a few more cheesy characters than usual. The Deputy First Minister came face to face with the larger than life sculpture of himself and was happy that he was the big cheese and not the First Minister. I do actually do like cheese. I'm, I like the mature cheese. I, I like various cheeses. I would say most of my opponents would want to eat the face of me, but uh, I'm not really concerned about opponents. Here at the Balmoral Show, it's, it's all friends. And this is my first time to the Balmoral Show, and it's been a tremendous experience. Obviously, agriculture is you know, a critically important part of our economy. The farmers make a massive contribution, and we've just had two excellent uh, submissions from Marion fisher Bull and Michelle Gildernew, the Commissioner and the Minister. And we know Marion fisher Bull well because we've met with her on a number of occasions in, uh, in Brussels. And I think she is a good friend of the North. She certainly understands the political situation here, but also understands the need to assist our farmers as much as she possibly can. And I think we've got very clear commitments from her in the course of our uh, speech this morning. With over 400 trade stands spread throughout the showgrounds, this is the most popular day in the farming community's calendar. Agricultural Minister Michelle Gildrenew was delighted to attend the show and says she has fond memories of the Balmoral show coming from a farming family. I think the last memory I had of the Balmoral show when I was very young was getting lost and I think we didn't come for, there's ten of us so I don't think we came then for a while. My, my next most recent memory was actually been here as an exhibitor um, when, when I was involved with the family business. So I've seen it from the other point of view as well. And then I've been coming here both as agriculture spokesperson and now as minister for the past number of years. And, you know, it's really gratifying to be here. This is my third year at Balmoral as minister. We want those challenges to be recognised by the department, by the executive. And that's why we're building on the 